story time. All right, we don't want to waste no because then you know you know it's gonna be turning off and then you know we're not gonna be able to like do the recording and then whatever 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 so we gotta get into it yeah get into it uh. that was so sexy hey guys it's maggie and anna and welcome back to our channel our canal <laughs> So today we're going to be doing a video of our story. We're going to be telling you guys how we met. Story time! So first and foremost, don't judge us. We met on the internet, on Instagram, on the less. I was adding random people and I don't know how, but I came across Maggie's Instagram and I started following her. Because I'm cute. <laughs> I even forgot I had her because she would barely post. And Nothing much has changed. <laughs> And that was that. So fast forwarding to 2018, on July 23rd, somebody slid in my DMs or whatever. And this how didn't want to reply. <laughs> she left me on 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 delivered. <laughs> Cause I didn't see so, it. So I'm like going through Instagram and I'm like scrolling. And I'm like, oh, who did who did B, who does B? So then I go to her Instagram and I'm like, oh, it's not she cute, whatever. And then around that time, you know, I was getting out of a relationship. So then I was just like, you know what, why not? I'm single. I can like other girls' pictures. <laughs> whatever. So then I'm like, clicking like, like, like. Sometime later, she starts liking my pictures back. So I'm like, oh, she want it. <laughs> she think I'm cute too. So then I was at work. I had some coworkers at the time and I was telling them about this and they were just like, oh, you need to slide into the DM. And then I was just like, damn, is it too soon? Should I not? I don't know how to talk to girls anymore. <laughs> I slid in the DM and I said the, the best line you could ever send a girl, you know, when you're trying to like kick it. I said hi. And hours, oh my God. and hours, and days, and A weeks, day. and years later. Two thousand years later. I get a, oh, sorry. A Billy Bill Instagram, whatever. No, 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 no. So this is the thing, guys. So I have it so that I don't get any notifications from social media unless I open up the app. So once we were going back and forth, liking each other's picture, and then we had a cute little comment, I signed out, and I didn't see that she slid into the DM till the next day when I logged in. So that's when I reply. So fast forward, we started talking. And when, I, <laughs> and when she says talking, like we was like talking. talking. Like we was sending paragraphs. Hi stranger, here's my life. <laughs> and then we started texting text her good morning we would say our good nights we'll check in with each other you know consistency is key she went radio silent mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i was like yo like what happened like what's 
going on. We haven't been talking as much. Things got pretty dry. And she want to hit me with the things are moving too fast for me. Yeah. I was a little overwhelmed. Oh my god. And I wasn't ready. This girl. She, she wasn't ready. She wasn't ready. After telling me that she's done moved on, she ready to move on, she ready to start something new, whatever, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you did too. You lied too. I know. So, we became friends. Because neither of us was being honest. She was still hung up on her little whatever. And I was still <laughs> hung up on my whatever. And so, we was just friends. And we... Like, basically poured our hearts out to each other we every be, other day. Yes. <laughs> like, we became really close. Like, mm -hmm. we were There both, was no pressure. No. Like, oh, my God. This is a girl. Like, I'm talking no, to a girl. No. We became just, like, just really close. We were going through the same thing at that time. We were both going through a breakup. And breakups are hard. So, we were kind of, like, leaning on each other. Because we were both going through it at the same time. However, let's fast forward again to our first time meeting. I think we were supposed to go to a museum or something like that. I know it was a Sunday. We were just supposed to hang out. Yeah. Something. And she came to the Bronx on a Sunday. The trains. All the way. Mind you, she used to live in Brooklyn. That's the so. mountains and villages. <laughs> and we came to the house. We chilled for a little bit. We ate some Kennedy's fried chicken or whatever. So Maggie came all regular degular, right? She didn't like dress like Papi Suave, like Papi Shampoo. She didn't dress up. Neither, neither did I. Yeah, right. So, Yo, she I pulls <laughs> up in her little car and then I see her with her makeup done. Looking all cute with this little plaid shirt. I had a regular plaid little, shirt. With this little under undergarment that was all like stringy and whatever. It looked mad popping. I was with Insert like, picture <laughs> here. Fire. Oh god. I was in tights and a plaid shirt. Big deal. Anyways, so that night, even though we were friends, I kept looking at Maggie's lips. Because they look all juicy and pink and plump and the shape and everything. Oh my god. And I was like, wow, like her lips look edible. <laughs> I kept thinking to it and I was just like, yo, if she keeps looking at my lips, I'm just gonna kiss her. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> but nothing happened. We chilled that mm -hmm. night. We played Connect Four. We watched some Fluffy. And then you went home and that was that. We yeah, kept hanging out. Cool. We went to Bed Bath and Beyond. I wanted to go to Bed Bath and Beyond, and she took me to Bath and Body Works <laughs> because apparently they're the same thing. I got them confused. I knew what she wanted to do and what she wanted to get, but in my head, that place was Bath and Body Works. And then when we got there, I was just like, oh, no, this is not what she wanted. She mm -hmm. wanted to go to the big store. Right. And that's not here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we ended up going to Target. <laughs> <laughs> we and went to Target. We went to Guitar Center. Went to Buffalo Wild Wings. Had a little fake date fake at date. Buffalo the, Wild Wings. The waitress called her my girlfriend. Yeah. And, and Maggie got all awkward because I don't know what it was when we were friends anything that had to like hint at us having any kind of feelings for each other made her like, awkward abort, 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 yes. abort. <laughs> so we went to guitar center and we had a little moment there even though we were friends I was serenading her yes she was <laughs> so i knew basically all of her original songs because she would send them to me and I would always play them on my way to work because she's that good and I just love the sound of her voice. So I would play it over and over. She sounded so good, so angelic. If you guys have heard any of her songs, I know you guys think the same. Like she just so good. If y'all like And I'm intro. not just saying that because she's my girlfriend. Like, no, seriously, like oh yeah, our intro song, that's Maggie singing, if it wasn't obvious. So when we were in Guitar Center we had a little moment where she was playing the guitar and she was playing the chords to one of her songs so i started kind of singing it really low i didn't want her to hear me sing and then i hear this and i'm just like the hell you see my song <laughs> <laughs> and i'm just there like yeah you know i'm your number one fan i know all the lyrics to your songs you know i'll be feeling like people just say that just to say that 
But like she actually knew the words to my song. Yeah. Like it's one thing to say, oh, that's a cute little song, you know. It's I nice. like it. It sounds nice. It sounds so good. Mm-hmm. But like yeah. now, like she listened to yeah. my songs. Yeah, they're relatable. Anyway, so we had a little moment. She was playing the guitar, and I was sitting on the floor looking up at her, all starstruck, and we were locking eyes, and she was giving me this Rico Suave look, and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> And then that's when we finally went to the right place, Bed Bath & Beyond, and I got my shower head. And I wasn't ready for the night to end, so I told mm-hmm. her to come over. She was supposed to be taking me home. So then she gets into this whole little fit, and she's like, in this mood. I'm like, you want me to go to your house? <laughs> and then she was just like, I'm not going to go home, it's, it's okay. Stop lying. She wanted me to come over. I mean, yes, but no, it's not, Canto. that's not how it Canto. happened. <laughs> Basically, I told her, so you want me to take you home? And she was like, yeah. And I'm like, oh, so you want to go home? And she was like, you want me to go to your house? And I'm like, yeah. And she was like, okay. That's what happened. So she came over. She put my shower head up. Aw. First thing we did together. First, like. Home decor. Yeah. <laughs> And we had another moment. I think it was that night on my bed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, we were watching little Netflix, little Netflix and chill. Netflix and chill. Mm. No, nah, not even. <laughs> we was dead watching Netflix. We really were. And then I have this thing where I don't like getting on people's beds if I'm like in street clothes. Like if you have a chair in your room, I'm gonna sit on the chair. Mm-hmm. And she had this uncomfortable hard chair. <laughs> at her vanity i was sitting there and i was getting mad and comfortable and she was just like just come into the bed like yeah i was like yeah just sit on the bed it's fine like whatever and then i'm like if this chair wasn't so hard yeah (laughs) right you were dying to lay in bed with me (laughs) so then i got on the bed and then she starts like trying to back into me and i'm just like yo this little nasty she was laying behind me so i wanted to snuggle she wasn't trying to snuggle at first so i had to let her know i don't bite like we're friends she was like you're so far so then i'm like (laughs) okay scooped her up she was like caressing my arm or whatever i was like and then so Maggie has this thing where she wears her hoodies and she like, like yeah, literally like that. <laughs> I guess a comfort thing. Yeah. I did not know that. So she's laying there and she's like covering her face and I look back and I'm like, Maggie, what? You're afraid I'm going to kiss you? Like, what's wrong with you? She was like, no, I always do this. Started pulling out photo after photo <laughs> after photo. You see? You see? <laughs> you see? Yeah, no. I said, if you're going to kiss me, then kiss me. And I was you're like, I'm going to stop you. But I didn't. I was like, you know what? She friend zoned me. She wanna kiss me now? I don't think so. So that was the end of that night. She went home, she Ubered it all the way to Brooklyn. I sent my ass home, went to sleep, nothing happened. Then we linked up again when we went to Philly. Nothing happened. We stood there for two nights? One night. One night, two days. One night, two days. It was a lot of fun in Philly. We went to the Gablehood at Philly Pride, right? At Philly Pride. I had so much fun. It was dope. Then after that, Maggie and I had a little bit of a fallout as friends because I felt like... That I wasn't aware of, actually. I felt it afterwards when you, like, pressed me about it. I stopped talking to you as much. Yeah, you were being dry. Yeah. And I kind of picked up on it, but at the same time, I was just like, you know, maybe she's just doing her own thing. The thing was, we were both leaning on each other, so I felt like whenever she needed me and she needed to vent, I was there for her. But then when I felt like I was going through something, Maggie would shut me out. Like, she was nowhere to be found, and it was because she was going through her own thing. So I felt like, okay, I'm over this one-sided friendship. She'll send me her songs. I'll just double tap, like, okay, it's cute. But I wouldn't give her feedback. Like, I was just being dry. And at that point, that's when Maggie started trying to, like, chill with me hard. Like, she'll be, like, inviting me places. And I'll be like, mm, I'll see if I go. But I wouldn't really go. And I had no idea 
that Maggie had decided that she was gonna put the moves on me. She took it as like I was being Hollywood and I was being dry, but that was the moment that I was taking time to myself to reflect and to kind of figure out like where I was and what I wanted to do. And then, you know, obviously we had like a connection and I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna make a move. I'm gonna make my move. Like, I'm obviously like, feeling her if i don't do it now it's never gonna happen and she's gonna find a whole nother person to go on a blind date with and <laughs> that'll be that so i was just like nah come in oh! but she wasn't Come trying to do that like no. she was like okay maybe i'll pass by i was literally like was like i don't have anything to wear mm -hmm. not going i don't feel like getting dressed i don't know what to do with my hair like just i, I was work tomorrow yeah like which was true. Like, I was over her being a flaky ass friend. So after that, she had invited me to Henrietta's. Now, I've always wanted to go to Henrietta's. It's like a lesbian bar in the city. So when she invited me, I was like, hmm, maybe I'll go. And I was in a headspace where I wanted to get out. I had just been in a car accident and I was feeling like... I need to live a little and stop being such a grandma and stay home. I'm going to pull up. And first Fine. thing I said to her was, is there cute girls there? Because I don't want to go. And There's no cute like, girls there. This little nasty ass <laughs> girl. Your response though, what was it? I was like, it don't matter. I'm here. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I know you're there, but I'm talking about I can't be all booed up with you. It's like, I can't be kissing up on you. And I was just like, yeah, you can and I'm just like, okay, Maggie, whatever. And she didn't take me seriously. I didn't. We were friends. So I pulled up. Remember how I said that Maggie was weird with any kind of, like, intimacy when we were friends? We had never kissed on the cheek. Like, every time I would see Maggie, it would be, like, a side hug, like a quick, hey, that's it. When I got there, she came outside to meet me on my Uber. And she gave me this hug. And she, like planted a kiss on my cheek and that was like the first time that like our skin touched like you know skin to skin and i was like wow her skin is so soft like nigga she drunk when i was on my way i was like oh make sure you have a shot ready for me i want to take a shot the moment i'm there so we go inside and i take my shot back i did not even put my shot glass down before she started leaning in bro like i put my glass down and i'm looking at her and she's giving me these googly eyes and I'm like, okay. And, and we guess. Kiss the girl. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Anywho. So after she kissed me, <laughs> she kept leaning in for more kisses. I was so startled. I was not expecting that at all. So I like kept pulling away to like take a minute. Like, oh my God. Like. Maggie just kissed me. Like, it was just so unexpected and she kept like pulling me in and then in my mind I'm like wow like her lips feel exactly how I thought. They're so soft and juicy and fluffy and Okay. Oh <laughs> See what she does to me? <laughs> So that was the end of that night. We made out a lot and then I went back home because I had to work the next day. And from there we were like And texting. I had my first day at my last job that next day. And yeah. I went to work on like two, three hours of sleep. <laughs> first day at work. So then from there we kept texting and I was like, yo, like, what was that? What does this mean? And I was just like, I don't know, but I just know that I want to do it again. Yeah. <laughs> and then that became like all we spoke about for a while mm -hmm. we hung out again we went to pioneers which is another bar it, it was it, a fun bar yeah it's a really nice like bar. we were playing pool It was cuffing. Yeah, like I would be sitting on her lap. She'll come after she like, you know, was playing pool and she'll get it in. Or maybe sometimes she'll miss it and she'll come and just plant a little kiss and then she'll go back to playing. I was like, oh my God. Like, yeah, I walked her to her cab. 
we was holding hands. It was just like so different. Like it was obviously, a whole new world. It really was. And then the next day we were supposed to hang out and homegirl wants to like cancel oh. or whatever and I was like oh no she did Yo, not I just was do so this tired mind you the night we went out to pioneers I had work the next day like early butt crack in the morning she did though she and did so not. like when I got out of work I was just like I can't do anything I can't function right now like you would have been with a dead person I was planning to but then I got home and I just I died yeah, so I was bummed out because that day, because I knew we were going to hang out, oh. I went to the salon oh and I got my hair done. So when you have hair like mine, you can't just do a blowout. You got to do your wash and set, right? Then they put a deep conditioner. Then they put you under the dryer for like 20 minutes. Then they take out that deep conditioner. Then they do rollos. Then they put you back under the dryer. Then you come out of the rollos. Then they start blowing it out. And then after they blow it out, they want to flat iron it. So I did all of that. Then I came home and I spent like three hours trying to do my face, perfecting my makeup. Then after that, I was spent like another two hours. By the time I was ready, she um hit me with the, I'm going to go home and take a nap because I'm tired. I was. I forgive you. So we postponed our first date to sometime in early December. Uh, we went to eat at Chili's and then from there we went to the movie theaters. And the movie that was playing, I'm not going to say the movie that we saw because we were too busy making out. That was Had to rewatch it later on yeah, to know we, what happened. <laughs> yeah, we were, when the movie was over, we were like, oh, I guess we go home now. And then after that, <laughs> we had our first sleepover. That we did. Our very first. Sleepover. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Then after that, um, we were like inseparable. So her cousin was here all the time. Her cousin's partner was here all the time. This Maggie was, the was here this all was the, the time. We were forever chilling and doing everything together. Maggie was calling out 10,000 times. Jeez. We had all the excuses for Maggie to just not go to work because we did not want to separate. And whenever Maggie did not have anything to wear, she needed underwear, she needed a shirt. No, she didn't let me go back home to get there. No, we just went to the mall. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> yeah, so I basically lived here from Unofficially, the <laughs> she just she just never left. She basically had a drawer already. And then um shortly after that, Maggie asked me to be her girlfriend. Aww. And I said no. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> me being the extra person that I is. Mm -hmm. I wrote a whole long little speech. If you know me, I'm extra, I'm theatrical, I'm very sentimental. And honestly, like, with me, you kind of have to be that way. You have to do the grand gesture. Like, I love that, so. So, this is perfect. perfect for each other. Yes, we are. So then, shortly after that, we had our first Valentine's Day. And funny story, we gifted each other the same thing without knowing that we were getting that from each other. We didn't know we were getting it from each other. And we and bought it for each other. Does that make sense? In simpler terms, <laughs> <laughs> we bought the same thing at the same time for the same reason yep, yep. without each other knowing. Which was, we got engaged. <laughs> exactly. No. That's what everybody thinks. That's <laughs> what everybody says, especially when they see hers, because look, yeah. look at that rock. You know, <laughs> I don't brag, but you know. So then I did this whole little setup it in the house. It was beautiful, guys. Like, she literally went, the dream. She went to go do someone's makeup. I had to get out the house because I wanted to get like, you know, all cute or whatever. Let me tell you what I did. I bought some lingerie 
and I have this like nice red like trench coat or whatever so my idea was to pull up and have nothing underneath but the lingerie so I did I had my heels hey, on suits. I have my little stockings or whatever or my garden me a heart attack and I pulled up and I was like BAM literally <laughs> I wasn't even ready by the time she got home. I opened the door and she's just like, well, bam, and I'm just here like, happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Girl. So then I'm just like, oh, okay. Hi. <laughs> spelled out, I love you on the bed. There was flowers everywhere. She cooked dinner. There was fairy lights. She did a whole slide video. Show. Yeah, slideshow. Mm -hmm. And it was like playing one of our songs. And it was just so cute. And then when she gave me my promise ring, let me tell you, this woman gave the best speech ever. Like, it was so romantic. Like, literally, I need to find the movie where you stole that from. Yeah, it wasn't like when I asked her to be my girlfriend. Like, I had this whole thing written out. It had to be perfect. And for Valentine's Day, I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to talk. I'm just going to tell her how it is, how I feel. Came from give the heart. Her ring, and that's it and it worked out it was beautiful and that's when we exchanged our promise rings and we took this picture that we posted where we thought it would be obvious that we exchanged promise rings not engagement Captioned rings it, promise and everything and people still think we're engaged so after us having our first valentine's day we went to our first trip in the summer which we will do a separate video giving you guys all the deets our first vacation about our vacation or whatever and we'll probably do a story time about how we almost died during our vacation yeah that. very uh traumatic experience oh my goodness so stay tuned for that i have ptsd till this day she really does <laughs> no lie and like when we think about it and we talk about it it's, it's just, just like <gasps> yeah so Sorry stay team. tuned <laughs> So, you guys are pretty much caught up. That's pretty much yeah, our just been story. Kicking it since then, not we lived moved together. In. Yeah, like she upgraded. She got promoted from the one drawer to a wardrobe and three drawers. We lived together. Um, and now we're just trying to build. We're working on our future. Trying to and make yes, lots and lots of babies. We have um, created a GoFundMe so that you guys can help support with our future plans it does include babies and it includes marriage and all that cute We're mushy to gushy do all stuff. That stuff yes so um first and foremost for those that have donated already and for those that have shared thank you so 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 much we love really you. really really appreciate it we love you so much every penny counts. literally every penny comes like it's every all penny. accounted for yes <laughs> So if you guys can help. support us, we would really appreciate if you can donate or share. The link is in the gonna bio. Be below. Yeah. And we do plan on documenting everything so you guys will be a part of the entire experience. The whole journey. You'll be there with us. Every single step. Our engagement, marriage, babies, all of that. Furry babies, all, all of that. Earth because thing. I want a whole zoo. I want a whole football team. And it's gonna happen. If you made it to the end, you are a real one. And for those of you that were skimming, you fight. I see you. You fight. I see you. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Subscribe. <laughs> Hit the, the bell. Bell. I think it's Bong, somewhere. somewhere in one of these corners or whatever. For notifications so you know and when we post. Yes, because we're gonna be posting every week. Hold us to it, keep us honest. And if and we don't post one week, flood our DMs, call us our out. Instagrams. Our Instagrams are in the bio as well. Yes, Follow we us. If you want to see more of this beautiful face. Oh, and Maggie's face too, of course. Yeah, the not so beautiful face. Lies. So anyways, we're going to sign out now. <laughs> it's out again. It's okay, sign out. Love you guys. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Pew, pew, pew. My lips. <laughs> suck it in, suck it in. <laughs> 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 <laughs>